Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video day. And today, the Houston Texans linebacker, Aziz Al Shahir, has been suspended three games. And the Texans have now lost one of their best linebackers for three games after uh, the late hit um, against Trevor Lawrence uh, to the head, which put Trevor Lawrence in concussion protocol. Uh, yeah, it's tough. I mean,. You know, there there are multiple things I you know that you know that come to my mind when I think about this suspension. Number one, as a Texans fan, I I hundred percent agree with this decision to suspend Aziz. Um, here's what I wanted to see. I mean, it, I I it was very unlikely for this to happen, but I, I honestly what I wanted to see happen was the NFL decide not to suspend Aziz, and the Texans suspend him. Uh, I think a team suspension is worse from a from a f- than a league suspension because if the team, you know, ends up suspending you, you know you've really let the team down, and that's what he did on Sunday. Um, but with the way D'Amico Ryan's and Nick Casario's been, they have been defending him for for what happened. Um, I get that's their player. I, I like the fact that they're they're not, you know, putting him under the bus. Um, but with the way they've been defending him, I don't think they would have suspended. You know, it, it, it's not like we've never seen a team not suspend a player. Um, but I just felt like that would have hit. If you, if the team suspends him, not the league, then he really knows the team. he let the team down. Uh, but the NFL suspended him three games. And as a Texans fan, I, I honestly agree with this. Um, I don't know about the three games. I, I agree with him being suspended up. I thought it would have been two games, uh, but I think three. It, there's not there's not a big difference. Um, so I mean, but you know, I'm I'm fine with it. Uh, and look, I think it's not just because of the hit that happened to Trevor Lawrence. It's it's not. Um, that's not the only reason why this this has happened. Uh, it's it's his history in the last year a little bit over the last year if you look at it um and to me I think it reminds me a little bit of Draymond Green last year how we saw Draymond Green continue to continue to do all these horrible things hitting players in the face punching his own teammates doing all this stuff and the NBA eventually gave him a big suspension um because of the repeated offenses that he had and we saw the same thing with John Morant that was a big thing uh when when John Morant I think was like a 25 game suspension that he got uh to start off NBA season last year one of the big reasons why he got such a huge suspension Adam Silver the commissioner of the NBA said that it was because of repeated offenses and I think when he ever repeated offenses like Aziz Al Shahir has in this case um I think, you know, they have to they have to punish him. I mean, it's not just a hit versus Trevor Lawrence. Last week against the Titans in in Houston, he had a late hit, got fined eleven thousand two hundred dollars for that. In September, when the Texans played the Bears in week two, he got fined eleven thousand eight hundred dollars for fighting. Then in November of two thousand twenty three, when he was still with Tennessee, he had a face mask. That he got fined eleven thousand dollars for against the Buccaneers, and then in September of two thousand twenty-three, he had a roughing passer versus New Orleans, New Orleans Saints, which I'm guessing was yeah, that was Derek Carr. That was Week One against the Saints, and he got fined fourteen thousand dollars. He's been fined, I mean, I think thirty, forty, a little bit over forty-eight thousand dollars in the last 13, 14 months of of football. Um, so honestly, when you look at everything that's happened, there's been a roughing the passer against the saints. There's been a face mask. There's been fighting multiple late hits. This, this, he has, he's, he's had, he's had history of this. And, uh, this, the, the hit we just saw against Trevor Lawrence was the worst one out of all of them. And, um, the NFL's got to stop it, and I understand of them suspending suspending him. I imagine that he'll he'll appeal, and um, I've heard some ramblings that with an appeal he might get the suspension down to two games, which 
would be nice, but, you know, I think this was the right thing for the NFL to do as a Texans fan. I uh, really hate to see it. Like, I wanted Aziz to get suspended because I felt like he deserved to be punished for what happened, but I don't want to see the Texans to get punished. Like, Aziz deserves to be punished for what happened, but I don't want to see this team suffer because of that. And uh, you can't, this team really can't suffer without, you know, th- th- there's no way for this team not suffering with this suspension. I mean, this is a guy who has two forced fumbles on the year. He has two sacks. He has 68 tackles in 10 games with seven tackles for loss. He's been a big part of this defense. He is a huge part of this defense when healthy. Um, and that, that hurts, especially when the Texans haven't had Christian Harris for most of the year. So let me know your thoughts on the Texans um, losing Aziz Alshair for three games. As he's been suspended. It's, it's very tough for the team, but um, I think this was the right move by the NFL. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.